And as fuel infl inflation is hitting record highs, the Reserve Bank decided to hold steady with its lending rates. It hasn't changed it in a bit to control inflation, even though that means that the growth may actually be curbed a bit. And in fact, the RBI today cut the GDP forecast slightly and also raised the inflation forecast. It's nearly at their, what they say is their comfort zone of 6%. So why is this happening? The RBI governor said after the pandemic, when we saw the effect of COVID receding, the big worry is now the global geopolitical crisis. The sky today may be overcast with clouds, but we will use all our energies, resolve and resources to let the sunlight illuminate India's future. I don't think the RBI is the RBI governor the looking for silver lining, but the numbers he listed paint a gloomy picture. The RBI has cut its GDP forecast to 7.2%, down from 7.8%, which was projected earlier. The central bank said the forecast is down as the positive benefits it expected from the receding Omicron wave have been offset by sharp geopolitical tensions. In the second major announcement, the RBI has sharply raised its inflation forecast to 5.7% from 4.5% earlier. Explaining this, the RBI said supply disruptions have rattled global markets, pushing up the prices of oil, gas and other commodities. The RBI is now assuming crude oil prices to be at $100 per barrel for this year, up from the earlier budgeted price of $75. And lastly, the interest rate has remained unchanged for the 11th time in a row and still stands at its 19-year low of 4%. The rate is kept steady because even though economic activity is recovering, it is barely above pre-pandemic levels. The RBI stood by its accommodative stance it has maintained since the pandemic to support growth. But interestingly, the RBI governor did say the bank is now focusing on withdrawal of this accommodation to ensure inflation remains within target. This is being seen as a signal for interest rate hikes in the next few policies. All that has happened all around the world has introduced a completely new element into the scheme of things. So therefore, we have uh, revised uh, the inflation projections. And uh, I have said that we are ready to take whatever action is required. Inflation at 5.7% is pushing the RBI's comfort limit of 6%. And while food inflation contributed the most, the central bank expects no major flare-up in grain prices. Inflation will depend on the geopolitical situation, it said. Manufacturers, however, expect higher input and output price pressures. But on a more The RBI also note, said that in a gradual and I calibrated manner, it will withdraw rupees 8.5 lakh crore of liquidity from the system beginning this year, over a multi-year time frame in a non-disruptive manner. Uh, work out a real rate of interest, there is not enough. The focus of this monetary policy has been global volatility caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The first monetary policy of the year has tried to address the challenges the economy will face in the days to come as a result of what the RBI governor describes as tectonic shifts. With Priyanshi Sharma and Sakshi Bajaj in New Delhi, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV.